touch me. Not that he didn't know. He said, when all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude strung thee and pressed thee and said, if thou who touchest me, the Peter always the one who jump out and talk. You know, the <laughs> him with his talk. Yeah. <laughs> he like that. <laughs> yeah, because it's like he always jump out and say, you know, like he's the chief. He's the chief man who just come out. He always have to say something. He always got something to say. Yeah, you, when you read about Peter in the um, in the Zion event, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Where he kind of did a character profile of him. It's funny as far as um, you know, it's going into like you were going into earlier, his humbling at uh, at Christ's denial. But then you know how he matures, his character matures, and he's like a, a character you can relate to. Where you know we we all can relate to his nature as far as you know having the best interest, but then sometimes at your at your own expense, and then kind of you know learning from that right. going forward. Because if Yahusha has a question, Yahusha does everything for a reason. So Peter's like, look all the people in the Come on, man. Look at all the people around you. You gotta ask them who taught you. Come on, man. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like how you say it. Loose cannon. How are you serious? They say, come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. They should know better than that. You come Christ. On, come on, son. Like, really? Yeah, you, you yeah. Christ. Man. All this miracle you done did. You have, you, you, come on. Oh, that's a bad joke. Y'all, son of God. Come on, son of God. <laughs> <laughs> so now, yeah, yeah, I was shot. I had Ed to Lover. check him on that. Was he still doing those? This is my um. Who touched me? When all deny, Peter and they that were with him said, "Master, the multitude strung thee and pressed thee, and said, thou who touched me?" And Yahusha said, "Somebody have touched me." For I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. Right? 47. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how, and how she was here immediately. So Yahusha knows who touched him. He could have said, Women, thou has touched me. <laughs> you know? But the showing that the women came, you know, knowing that, you know, she she could she know she knows she couldn't hide. And after twelve years she was sick, it would be, you know, something small to just go and bow down. So notice that she wasn't trying to be slick. So she came in and bowed down. You know, in front of Yahusha. You know, you know, you knowing like some people, they will like, they touch Yahusha and I'm here now, that's it. And they went about their way. But, you know, she knows. She showed gratitude, that's showing gratitude um, towards Yahusha and, and came and, you know, showed Yahusha um, reverence. Also, to show that, um, some women in the scripture do show reverence to Yahusha. That's why, you know, you, a lot of those women are being mentioned, like we met Mary, you know, showing reverence and ministering unto Yahusha. Right? And, um, and hosts of other women, women that show reverence to Yahusha. When all denied, okay, we read this, and Jesus said, somebody gonna, has touched me. I was going to say it real quick, too. She shows her faith. Con. She shows her faith, too. Con. We got 48. 48. And he said unto her, daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith have made thee whole. Go in peace. So, what made her whole? Her faith. So, because she had faith, and that in turn, Yahushua was able, or touching the hem of the Yahushua's garment, 
was able to heal her. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue. Sorry, um, I may be rude. Just, just want to say this real quick. And that's important, the fact that he's telling her what made her whole. Her faith in him, knowing he is a son of God and he can do all things by believing on him. Because in the carnal realm, you know, people dealing with Christianity, what they would do is, we all, you know, we have different examples we always joke about in the Gospels. Someone could say, yeah, yeah, there's a, uh, we, we, we actually went into his old closet back in, the, back in Palestine or whatever, and then we found his garment. And this is, and we think scholars are showing us the same garment that she touched, so we're selling this fabric, <laughs> you know, for, you know, $25,000, you know, a thread. You know, like that's what something that Esau would do in his carnality. And somebody that's carnal would say, yeah, we found the outfit. It's here, you know, we're auctioning the thing off for, you know, like a million dollars. Oh, like, I got some guy, I'll buy it for 10 million. I'll get it for 15 million. Like, that's the vanity that people would look at in today's time. It's yep. like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta touch that garment. It's like, you missed the point. It had nothing to do with the garment. It had to do with what she believed, what she knew. He who, it had to do with she, what she knew that he was. Right. And the role that he played. That's right. what healed her. Right. Not the Not the item, like. Right. And say, oh, so and so's eyes got healed because of the mud they used to put in his eyes. Right. Like, and, and also keep yeah. in mind, meaning that all the people that brush off against him, you know, I mean, all of them healed. Right. You know what I mean? Because so, there was a lot of people, you know lot of people I mean? touching him. Right. So, you know, why that particular woman was singled out? Because a lot of the people, even people who were walking with him, they didn't have, they had faith. So, you know, out of all of these people, she was singled out. And, you know, that faith has, you know, healed it. And also, let alone on the same topic, they would, would probably, like, walk around in the, with, with, the, with the cloth in the suitcase, travel from churches to churches and say, come touch the cloth. <laughs> you know, anybody who want to touch the cloth, $10,000. <laughs> Man, that's that, that bringing back to, uh, to something I witnessed myself at a church. <laughs> and he had this guy come in. He bought uh, he bought a bucket. He anointed the bucket. He said, "Come try to come touch the bucket if you want to oh, be the next millionaire." You told me about it. Everybody told us. Oh, I said, oh, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "If you don't wow. have," he said, "Pull out your credit cards. Come swipe it." <laughs> I said, "What? I gotta get out of here." And yeah, the people were like. Okay, okay. <laughs> everybody raised, like, everybody put out the debit card was waving up in the air. I was like, what the hell this dude bought me to? Individual. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, oh, this is, people got online to touch the bucket. Touch the money bucket, huh? Touch the, they done, put money in the bucket and touch the bucket. But if you don't have cash on you, come touch the bucket and go down the line and swipe your card. Well, we accept pieces of plastic card. We accept cash and credit. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. I was like, man, they still do this? This is like maybe like a year ago. I'm like, wow. Why don't you go back to that place and see if anybody became a millionaire? <laughs> he said, there's only 12 millionaires this year. Only 12. Are you one of them? All right. <laughs> I was like, wow. All right, Luke 8 and 48. And he said unto her, Daughter, daughter, be ye of good, of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Verse 49. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead. Trouble not the master. But when Yahusha heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter, and James, and James, and John, and the father, and the mother of the maiden. And all wept, and bewail her. But he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. 
right? So Yahushai went into the house of the men, and only only those disciples were allowed to go in. Keep in mind, you can't be going into uh, somebody's house and bringing everybody in. So Yahushai also showed that he had discretion, right? So you only allow few people to come in with him, you know, because the people were in grievance and you don't want, you know, everybody there. And so Yahushai did allow just uh, those three disciples to, to, um, to go in. And the father and the mother uh, of the maiden, and all wept and bewail her, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed, they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. <laughs> Could you imagine this thing? It went, it, 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 it went from, <laughs> oh, she's not dead, she's sleeping. <laughs> Come on, man. Right, because what happened is... That's a crazy scene, man. What happened is, yeah, like, they're in total disbelief. Right. Because it's wow. like, you know, they're in, total, they, they, they're in shocking mode. They really don't want her to be dead. And the, the Yahushai, they they be well in her. They they crying day and morning. And then Yahushai say, ah, nah, man. She's not dead, you know. Just chill out. You know, she's not dead. You know, to hear something like that, that's what you want to hear. But you can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so that's why they bust out. <laughs> bust out. And start, you know, laughing. <laughs> you know, so it was like a cry of joy in right in the midst. This cat's bugging you for real. Right. And they laugh him to scorn, yeah. knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out. Now get out, everybody out. <laughs> and took her by the hand and called, saying, May arise. So now she put them all out <coughs> because he probably had to do some prayer there, you know, to bring her. And knowing that those people in there that was in his vicinity, they in total disbelief, so he had to kick him out. Right? Because in order for Yahushai, you know, to perform uh, his miracle, the people themselves have to have faith and they have to believe. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, so he kicked him out, and then he made the he made a. You know. You don't want anybody to alter the spirit, because of their unbelief. Right, says, and he put them all out, all out. Cause they they like everybody start laughing. Get out of here! Get out of here! Now I don't need you guys there. You're already a, a mess, you know. Laughing at me because I told you she's sleeping. You're a mess. You're a mess. That's good. Oh, mate, arise. Verse 55. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. It was like, here you go. Give her food. Yeah. And because what happened is, you know, Right now, she's probably weak. And because, you know, when you're in a fast, just like in the morning when you sleep, when you wake up, you say, break fast. Because you got to break the fast. Mm. So imagine how long she's been sleeping without, you know, food. Or mm. how long she has been dead without food. Or her body is pretty like weak. Mm. Yeah, because it's break, break fast. You're breaking the fast. Because it's your body went for eight hours without food. It depends how long you sleep. So you get up in the morning, you get the big fat, you break your right fast. You know, that's like too in today's time, like how someone not saying this what happened with her, but as far as when someone falls into a coma, it's a similar thing. Especially how depending on how long they uh they're out, you know, they gotta get some, so they gotta get, they gotta get, they gotta get a course going, you know, as far as like you know, f you know, fruits and you know, vegetables, meat and dairies, all that. But then they also gotta um, you know, gotta walk around a little bit because. You know, the muscles, they've been using their legs for quite some time. They've been bedridden all that time in a coma. So they can't just get up and be like, yeah, you know, they gotta, okay, gotta get used and get my, get, get my bearings again because I've been on, a, I've been in the bed for however long right. my coma was. When, when, right. some, when somebody's in a coma, they like, with the machines keep them alive or? Sometimes they'll feed them intravenously in today's time. 
but then at the comatose, whatever. I'm just 